Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here with a video finally. And today what I've made is this pocket for the front page of my junk journal that I'm making for myself off camera. Yeah, it has... Woohoo! Yeah, <laughs> it lifts up. And all together there are five pockets within this one. Yeah, it is a variation on this. Yeah, but I've turned it into a pocket. So if you want to see how I did it, here goes. So we've got a little craft with me. You've just seen what I made. I don't know what I've made yet, so don't shh, don't spoil it. Right, I've been making this journal off camera just to get my mojo back. It's very plain and very simple. I'm going to fill it with ready-made ephemera. I've just got various book pages, ledger pages, a interactive page I've made in the past on camera, which I will link. And yeah, so the front page at minute, very plain. You did see part of the signature on last week's video where I made this wrap around envelope with lots of pockets. I can't remember how many, about six, yeah. And yeah, so that's the back page sorted. The front page looking very plain. And I wanted something else quite interactive. And I started folding paper. And I came up with this kind of idea. I thought that could be a pocket that then flips out and da da da. Then I thought that looks really familiar. Then I realised I'd made one before, very similar. <laughs> Look, that's got the pockets on the inside. Yeah, that one wasn't made to be a pocket. It was just made as an insert for a journal. I mean, probably like that, I would stick that in. Or you could put it around page if your journal was wide enough. This one's not that wide. So I thought, oh, I've got to make something a bit different if I've already done that before. And I moved on to this piece. And I've just altered slightly where I folded it. And you can see, this is the prototype. People often ask how I come up with ideas. And this is how you just get a bit of paper and fold it and mess. So now I've got this kind of deal going off. Yeah, that's going to fold out as a little flap. Pocket there pocket on either side inside and then when it's closed up with a velcro or string button we'll have a pocket behind so that's what i'm going to attempt to do but i want to do it with a book page so yeah this it's just a yeah collage masterboard i've used for cover it were 12 by 12 one i've cut it down scored it folded it made my signatures to fit it's just a cute little journal a mojo, a mojo bringing back journal. Right, so this is the book I want to take some pages from. This is the Field Guide to Butterflies and Moths. I've used a lot of the butterflies, but there are an awful lot of pages like this with not a lot going off really other than text. But we know this, <laughs> we hope there's going to be nothing offensive on these pages apart from caterpillars. I quite often find them a bit offensive, they're not my favourite things. So I'm just looking for centre at signature. There we go where string is so I can cut some pages out. I'm going to use my dodgy Tim Holtz scissors. The scissors aren't dodgy, I love them. These are dodgy because somehow the point got bent on one but look how brilliant it is for cutting string because <laughs> it sort of hooks it. Whee! There you go. One more string. That one sort of uh, stuck with glue. So that's that one. I'm not going to use that one because that's the one that's got bits of glue and stuff on them. And because I want to fold it and make a pocket, I'll just use that as a page in a journal. Perhaps stamp something pretty on it. That one's got a lot of pictures. I'm looking for one that's all text. Yeah, that's all text. Sorted. I mean, you can do it out of sheet of paper. I just wanted to make it a little bit different. <clears throat> so here we go right this is the one I want to emulate as you if I fold that out this was sheet of A4 paper there's not much difference in size but the size doesn't even matter it don't matter it just don't matter right now one thing I need to do because I'm working with book pages I'm going to turn it upside down that means that when I start folding bits down and up yeah, the text is going to be the correct way on this bit. 
on the front it will be upside down but I'm going to decorate the front if you understand me so we'll cover the upside down text up just 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 yeah just watch you'll get it so first thing I'm going to do is I want to make that part so I'm going to fold this down leaving enough to fold up and make my pocket so I've folded that down it's about an inch and a half there which I'm an happy bunny with I'm just going to fold that over so you can do this with any book page obviously the size you end up with is going to differ depending on the size of the book page that you start to go into then just level with that I'm going to fold this up There was a there we go. So you can see these the text is the correct way up. Because I'm not going to be overly embellishing the inside. Yeah. I didn't want that text to be upside down. This will be our front. The back's obviously going to get stuck to the journal. I'm going to be embellishing this. So I'm not too bothered about that being upside down. Right, one of the things I want to do is if you notice that isn't folded in the middle. Yeah, on this one. So I'm going to fold that again. And I'm going to fold it round about here. That looks, that looks ish about right. Ish about right. Is that even a word? Or a phrase? It's a new one. Stick it in your dictionary. Ish about right. Use a bit of bone fold on that. And then I'm going to fold this over. To make a flap i'm going to leave myself a little bit more room here and you'll see why in a minute so that's then going to be my flap i like that i'll get if i get my journal back out on my page that's going to fit lovely i don't want it to go edge to edge if it went edge to edge i'd struggle to open that wouldn't i so i want it like that and that will open yeah, be wary if you put one of these anywhere other than the front page. Make sure you've got enough room at that side for it to open and the spine is not going to interfere. So, yeah, I'm quite liking that. It's working. Oh, it's nice to be having ideas again. Right, now I'm going to do a bit of cutting and snipping because that's just going to be a flap that folds over. But I want another pocket in there. So I'm just going to grab a pencil. And I've decided that I've got no pencils. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to just draw a line there, don't edge of that, and I'm going to cut down there, yeah, I'm going to do it on that one and this one. So I'm just going to move that flap down and draw my line again, there you go, so I can see where to cut. Enter the big scissors for this, I mean we could go all fancy new scoreboard, but not scoreboard, trimmer. You know if you've got one of them trimmers with a pointy little blade? You can just cut certain bits. So I'm just going to cut up to that crease. Then I'm going to do the same there. Because this, yeah, one of my reasons behind using a book page is they're a little bit more sturdy than a sheet of paper. Less prone to tearing. So we've got that and that. So now I've got two options for my flat. I can cut, I can glue that down and make my flap. But then I think it might interfere with something going in that pocket. So I'm just going to cut that off. Cut it along that crease and along that crease. Then I've got my flaps. I hope you can see it creases. It's a dull day today. Looks like there's going to be a storm. I think we've had storm warnings. Cut along that again. If it's not straight, I can always do a bit more trimming. Oh, I've done that quite well. Just so that you can get some, some definition on my edges, I'm just going to do a little bit of, um, yeah, inking. But before I do that, that's not quite straight. Ooh. <laughs> I don't want to cut. There's just a little bit on end, you know, it ends up, there you go. I'm going to grab my circle trimmer. No, can I speak? No. Why am I doing a video? Because I haven't done one for a week. Oh, and I am actually feeling like crafting. 
Rounder, that's what it is. It's a corner rounder. There we go. I'm just going to give the edges a little bit of an ink. I will be further embellishing these bits. But you, you can see now, look. I, I like that. And clueless if anyone's done this before, as always. But if they have, well done. <laughs> Great minds think alike. I mean, I come up with a project thinking it were new today and it turned out to be one I'd done before. In fact, it was one that Charlotte at the Lose Unique Boutique had done and then I'd recreated it. So, I don't want to ink back, do I? Because that's going to be stuck down. This bit I want to ink on the inside. Just to make sure it's all done before I start using glue. I mean, yeah, I've got a crease there. That don't, really doesn't bother me. It just lets you know it was made from a book page. It's going to be stuck down that it's going to be a pocket so the fact that we've got that extra crease really into bother not to me anyway Whee. right which else did i want there i want to ink that if in doubt ink it all if in doubt ink everything do you know i'm so rusty i don't even know if i'm on camera terrible i've attempted to make videos this week and i just i just couldn't do it but i mean yeah, i'm doing it i don't care what happens right that's that that's that oh yeah do you know that actually could have gone up to there but whatever we've done it like that now we're happy bunnies it's done it's a pretty it's uh making it up as i go along you can see as well why sometimes it's good to do a prototype I decided to cut my flaps at an angle there and then that just looked untidy sticking out. So on this one I've kept them straight and just rounded the corners. So now I've got to decide, am I going to use Velcro or am I going to use button string? I don't know, I really don't know. But I'm going to have to decide, I think Velcro. Velcro. Oh look, we've got another pocket there. Yeah, did I know that? I can't remember. Get some glue out and stick it together, woman. Right. It's not going to need a lot of glue, this. I am going to put a little bit along that crease. There. Then I'm going to put a little bit there. And a little bit there. And it's nearly done, isn't it? I quite like this. I think I put it there just to remind me where the middle is. And I'm going to be filling this with some ready-made ephemera. I've got quite a bit out on the desk. In case you're wondering what that little pile is there. So that's that. I should try folding it again. I really like that. And I'm going to grab one of my Velcro dots. Come hither, Velcro dots. I have spent a lot of time tidying in my craft room. Just making sure things are where they're supposed to be. Because I'm a very untidy crafter, you know. Right, yeah. Mm, I'm wondering if I need to strengthen that bit. I think, just on the edge, I'm going to... Could I put a tab on it? That's nice. Let's stick a tab on it. Right, I've got a tub full of tabs. Yeah. Tub full of ready-cut tabs. Some are in fancy paper, some are just in green. That's quite botanical. I think that goes pretty well with that. Yes, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to use a tab for it and put the Velcro dot on the tab. Yeah, that looks good. I'll ink the edges of the tab. And we'll glue that onto the flap. <laughs> Me likes. I don't think I've ever put a Velcro dot on a tab before. The reason I don't want to go with button string closure is because this is quite a thin book page. And I won't want anything to pull through and not and break. So we'll pop you there, mate. Middle-ish. Middle-ish, yeah. 
and then I've got oh, this is my favorite brand of velcro dots but they're expensive and hard to get so when I've run out I'll be using some velcro dots that I got in happy mail from Sam Kramer she sent me a huge amount <laughs> right um, this clear one goes there see I don't know what I'm doing I want the fluffy one and I'm not going to put the clear one on yet because I want to decorate this donor, silly woman. You know, if I had a brain, I really would be dangerous. So that's on there. The other part of the Velcro dot will get glued to there. But we need to decorate it first. Yeah, of course we do. Right, what am I going to decorate it with? I'm just going to get me bits and bobs and scraps and stuff. Oh, a little bit of napkin. That looks good out with the scrap box I threatened to use that on last week's project and didn't I wonder if this would wrinkle too much if I started to decoupage I think it would so let's put that away and not bother right here we've got a bit of book page I think I want a flower on there a larger flower and I may just put some bits of foliage we could put stick we could put out on Do we want it to up? No, we don't want it to upside down. But I, that will mean that I'm not so upset about all that wordage being upside down if I go covering quite a bit of it. I'm going to stick that on first. I'm going to do this with my art glitter. Because I don't have my glue stick to hand. I need to dig some more out. Glue stick is my preferred method of decoupaging and collaging, should I say. Right. Let's have a trusty piece of map page. A little bit of Edith's text. That looks old. I think I just want to put that on there. And then with some kind of label on. I like that. Let's make it a bit narrower though because I don't want to cover my label up. My tab. Yeah. Well, something you'll have to look forward to as well on my videos is the new cat Nala. Thank you for all your lovely comments, by the way. I am trying to keep up with my comments. I've just been a bit mad. Yeah, my new hobby is sitting cat watching cat. <laughs> Which is a bit mad really, isn't it? But she's so... For a nervous, wary cat, she's so giddy and affectionate. Woe be tired, you try and stroke her yet. She's not ready for that yet. But she constantly follows me around the house and rubs around my legs. Oh, yeah, I like that. Grab a box of labels. Oh, look what these I've found. Ticket. I'll use one of them. Yeah, do you know how I can normally just put my hands on everything? I've lost that. My muscle memory's gone in a week. Oh, I like that. I do like that. What you put on what you feel like putting on? I'm looking for a green label. Don't know why I like that that says 16, I just do. So that's gonna go on. I feel like I forgot how to collage, I really do. So I'm just going with what I think looks good. Right, where's my map page gone? Yeah, that's going to go there. I think I want that. Yeah, not sticking out. You know what I'm going to stick on it, don't you? One, two, three, butterfly. <laughs> it's probably going to be a butterfly. I can't go a full project without using a butterfly. 
put you there. And I'm going to put some big kind of word or label there. Yeah, I like that. And let's look in here. Go on, I'll let you look in the box for me this time. Oh, I love these. Will that fit? Yeah, I like that there. So that's that one. And then we'll stick a little flutter by on it. So yeah, I was talking about cat, weren't I? And then I forgot. But yes, the cat has taken to just suddenly jumping up on my desk. Mm. Now, <clears throat> I don't want the cat on my desk. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't want to pick it, be picking cat hairs out of my crafts. <laughs> aren't I awful? No, I've, my, my last cat, Phoebe, never did that. She just didn't. She were trained before I got her by my friend's dad who uh, basically pampered him from being born. Oh, I like that. I do. Hey, that weren't Sorry, bad said. I'm not sure. And Gertrude's back. She's not sure as usual. Does Gertrude know anything? I don't really think she does. Right, let's get this other piece of me sticky dot on now. So I'm going to stick the hooky bit to there. And then I'm just going to close that over. Make sure it's straight, woman. Make sure it's straight. Or it'll drive you insane. There we go. Don't try and open it yet. It's all glue set. So yes, Nala will be uh, shooed off the desk. But if I suddenly scream and camera goes wonky and all you can see is fur, that's what's happened. She's, she wants to get to every windowsill in the house and my desk is in front of a windowsill. Right, let's get the journal out. Let's see how this is going to look. Oh, it goes nicely with the cover. Oh, I like it. So if we've proved anything today, it's that even if you haven't got a clue what you're doing and you've got no mojo, you can still make a pocket. I'm glad I went with Velcro for that. Really, I'm glad. Mm. So I'm just going to put a little bit more ink on my cover page. <clears throat> it's like a very, it's a thin card. I don't think it's even 160 GSM, this. Not quite. Then we shall stick it on and we'll start to fill it up with some ephemera. If I don't have any that fit, I shall custom make some. So that goes there. Oh, I really like that. And I'm just going to put glue down each side and along the bottom. I'm going to use my art glitter. Chances are it shouldn't wrinkle on the other side. You use what you prefer. If I find I don't really like the wrinkling I get on the other side of my pieces of card when I make a journal, I'll just put something else there over it. Cover it up. Nobody knows it happens if it happened if it were covered up, do they? Ask a politician. Mm. Right, I'm just going to have that out flat. That looks about straight-ish. Is it? Is it straight-ish? I think it is. I'll put it slightly nearer that side than that side. And I'm just going to hold that down. Ooh. Pretty happy with how that came out. I'm just going to open it. So that opens like that. That opens like that. We've got a pocket there, a pocket there, and another pocket there. Yeah, you did all right there, Julie. Will like it. And your desk's just back to being messy. I think now I've actually bit the bullet and made a project. Some more will flow. Right, I've got these. I'm just hoping one of those would fit. And does it? What have I done? What have I done? Uh -huh. yeah, that was closed a little bit because, you know, when I glued that edge, a little bit of my glue had gone onto there. So I'm just going to grab my glue rubber and make sure that that doesn't end up sticking again. So I've got a little bit of glue there that I don't want. I had an awful feeling I'd sealed the whole pocket then. There we go, that's gone, so that's not going to re-stick. Phew! And that, oh, that just fits perfectly there. 
I've just had a thought, something I've not done and something I think you might need to do. Can you see there? I didn't put any glue on the inside. If I made this again, I would put a little line of glue on the inside down that crease. It's not a bother if you have that up, just to make sure that that piece of ephemera is not going to go too far into there. Do you get what I mean? Is that too long? That is too long. Have I got a shorter one? Yes. Perfect. So that goes in. Yeah, we like. And what we're going to put in pockets, you could fill those with anything. You could fill them with little bits of um, extra bits for someone to collage with. They're all too big, aren't they? I've got these to hopefully go in back. Oh, that's nice up there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What about this? No, it's too big. That could go nicely in there, though. I mean, you could put the little thumb notches in if you want. I don't, I don't think I want to. No, I don't. It'll spoil the look of it for me. Oh, some more smaller bits of ephemera. I've got oh, a little postcard there. That's a digital one. I'm not sure who that's by. Chances are it could be Artie Mays because I do like a lot of her digital ephemera. Is that going to be? Hmm. That could be quite interesting. No, I think it, no, it'll be annoying, won't it? Rather than interesting. It's one thing to be interesting, another to be annoying. Oh, we can pop that in. So that's that, that, that. Wow, I like that. Let's put Rest It Journal back in. And we've got a video by George. We made something. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. So when you open the journal, that's your first page. And we've got a little interactive pocket now how many have we got one two three four five pocket an interactive five pocket pocket five pocket pocket does that make sense yeah so i hope that made sense and hope you followed it and i'm just going to say about the measurements you don't need to measure as long as when you fold that over the width of it is going to fit on your journal and even if it doesn't you could always just cut it down a little bit and fold it over some more. But that for, this is an A5 journal, which is like half of A4. It's A4 folded in half, which is, which is our equivalent to your letter in US. Yeah, if you use a letter sized piece of paper for that or an A4, it will work. The book I happened to use was an A5 book. That's why that book page works so well. And do you know, I don't think I'm going to bother putting a ladybird on that. I think I'm quite happy with that as it is. Oh, a ladybird. Oh, my word. And it's gone really dark. What's happened? Do you know those storm clouds I warned you about? Oh, they're here. There you go. You can see again. Oh, that is such a black cloud that's just come over. No wonder we can't see anything. So, yeah, I'm going to stop waffling now and go. I really am in waffle mode, aren't I? It's like nerves because I've not done a video for so long. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. Hope you did too. And I'll be back with some more projects from this book. But I also want to do a Tim Holtz project. I've got quite a lot of Tim Holtz ephemera ready made. And as you know, I've had quite a few little bits of Tim Holtz stuff in Happy Mail recently. That yeah, I've, I've got to do some ephemera on for that. So thank you very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.